Hey there Excel users, welcome to my Excel Power Tips channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily import your Excel CSV file into SQL Server. So I've got this Excel CSV files. So uh, unlike regular Excel workbooks, uh, which can have single or multiple worksheets, with Excel CSV file, there's only one worksheet. So this Excel CSV file, the data set has 100,000 rows of data. The order ID has unique values and uniquely identifies each row or record um, in the data set and three columns region country and ship date has missing values so i'm going to close this excel csv file without closing so the steps imported to sql server is as follows so within sql server management studio uh, you choose your target database in the database folder so in my case it's mixed data and you right click from the database name and you click on tasks and then that opens up a sub menu and then you there's two options here for import data import black file or import data import black file is for importing excel csv files csv files and uh, text files and import data is for importing uh, excel workbooks regular excel workbooks single sheet or multiple worksheet or uh, uh, SQL Server tables uh, from other databases, for example. So our relevant option is import black file. So click on that. So that opens up a import black file wizard. Click on next. And um, so we now have to uh, browse for the source file. So click on the browse button. So from the big sales data, click on open. and the new table name is going to be the same as the name of the excel csv file if you're happy with that table name which is going to be the table name appearing in sql server in the tables folder uh, if you're happy with that you can keep it as it is or if you want to modify it you can so i'm going to take off the underscores so that's going to be the name of the table uh, when it appears in the tables folder or you can change it to a completely different name table scheme leave that as it is click on next so the next part of the wizard shows you uh, how it gives you a preview of the first 50 rows and it shows you uh, how the data is going to appear within SQL Server and you notice there's gaps in the data for region country and also ship date click on next this part of the visit shows you the name of the columns and that's going to be appearing um, in the table in SQL Server and the data type Data type is the best data type, best fit data type you could serve as chosen for your data set. Um, usually you should be happy with all of this, uh, but if, you're, if you want to make any changes to any of the data types, you can easily do that from the drop down. So, for example, unit sold, if you don't want the small industry data type uh, to handle the unit sold value, you can click on the drop down to the bigger data type, uh, for example, industry, which you can accept bigger values. But if you're happy with that, then leave it as it is. Um, the primary key column, um, usually it only applies to one column or no columns. Um, so the primary key basically is any field that has unique values and uniquely, uniquely identifies um, each row or each record in the data set. Now, we saw the order ID is, uh, is uh, a candidate for primary key um, because it does do that it uniquely identifies each row so if you click on the primary key checkbox the allow nulls um, part which is the final part of this part of the wizard um, we saw that region country and ship date has null value so sql server automatically populates um, and puts a checkbox uh, check mark against that now if you have null values and you, you didn't allow null values it's not been checked you'll get an error so make sure um, I think it's probably usually best that you just uh, keep the settings that SQL Server comes up with. Click on Next. And these are the settings. Um, you can just click on Next. Uh, you can click on Finish. So because we've got 100,000 rows of data, uh, SQL Server is now importing the data into uh, the big sales data table in your target database of mixed data. And once your operation is complete, um, you can click on Close. Okay, so if you want to verify um, number of rows and your data is appearing in your new 
um, in your existing database. You click on the target database data, and click on refresh. Then you expand the database folder and in the tables folder, expand that. And you'll see your new table name, uh, pixel data, in my case, appearing. If you want to see the number of rows to make sure the data and the number of rows match the Excel source, you can right click and then you choose script table as and then go for the option select to new query editor window. So what that does is um, SQL Server generates a SQL Server script, SQL script, which basically um, selects all the columns of your data set, which is the same as the columns of your Excel source and from the table name, which is how the table name appears in the tables folder, um, which is going to be this. All you need to do is just press F5 or click on the menu from on the menu, click on execute. And because it's 100,000 rows of data, look at the bottom right of your screen um, or in the SQL Server Management Studio environment, you'll see that there's 100,000 rows, which is the same number of rows as your Excel source. And the columns are all appearing as uh, your Excel source. Thanks for watching and watch out for my next video.